It's not all ghosts, goblins, witches, and me being scared to watch the Penn State-Ohio State game this weekend. You can start your holiday shopping early and help out a good cause on Halloween. Here's Lisa Sugar with Rose Ann Irvin and Sharon Albright, the co-chairs for this weekend's holiday extravaganza in Cunningham. Roseanne, tell us what the Holiday Extravaganza Craft Show is all about. It's 40 plus crafters, which will be indoors. And we also have direct sales representatives that some, most of them will be outside. We have food. So it'll be a family event. You can bring the children. We'll have some Halloween candy there for the children. And it'll just be a nice way to get started on the holiday season coming up. Sharon, are these gifts mainly like handmade? So you're not going to find them anywhere else. That's right. Uh, most of our crafters inside will have all sorts of their handmade crafts, uh, anywhere from glassware to crocheted items to embroidered items, uh, wooden items, all kinds of seasonal decor. Um, it'll be they do some beautiful work. Now, Roseanne, this is the second time you're having this because you had hoped to have it last year, but unfortunately, COVID didn't allow that, right? That is correct. That is correct. Now, Sharon, one of the nice things in addition to the great unique gifts is this is benefiting a special organization in Cunningham, the Valley Food Pantry. So tell us about that. All of the proceeds from this show will benefit the Valley Food uh, Pantry. They were extremely uh, pleased that we were able to help them. So now, um, Roseanne, this is happening on Halloween Day. How would you pick yes. that day? <laughs> <laughs> well, we look for dates that there are no other shows going on in the area or that Sharon or I don't have one going on ourselves because we participate in out-of-the-area shows too. So we pick... We try to pick a day that's starting to get close to the holidays, but yet still before everybody else gets really involved in having shows for shopping and, and you know, these decorating and, and that. So it's just, it was a fluke taking yeah. Halloween. It was the <laughs> one that was available. <laughs> Well, there's all these events for the kiddos. So now this is an event for the moms, especially the dads too. But hey, we moms like things like this. So um, it's really important to get, you know, it's a hard to find a really special gift for someone. So when you find something that is handmade and unique, that's really great. What, what's been the reaction when you had this the first time, not only from the vendors, but from the people who were shopping as well? Yeah. We had uh, quite a crowd our first uh, show. Um, I think that the, um, the diversity of items that we had, um, I think just helped, uh, everybody was excited to see something new or somebody's handmade item. Oh, I didn't think I could make one of these. Oh, this is perfect for my mother or things like that. Or I can't wait to get home and put this up and yes. decorate for the holidays with the items that they've purchased. You know, it's, just a great event. All righty. And as far as when people do come to it, do they have to wear a mask or anything like that? Will there be any kind of restrictions? We will have masks available. We would ask them if they would please wear their mask. It's not mandatory, but with the Delta variant, and it is pretty prevalent around in our area right now. Yeah. Uh, you know, we would like them to, but it's not mandatory. Today's news feature is brought to you by Frankie's Pizzeria and Restaurant in downtown Hazleton. For more information on their specials, hours, and where you can find their delicious tavern pizza, you can call 570-454-6000 or you can visit their Facebook page.